So here I'm going to create a uh, function expression. And what we'll do is create a variable. And then we will uh, create a function and load that into the variable. So rather than before where we say it, like the function keyword, let me go ahead and write that in here on line A. This is just an example. You might have the function keyword. You might call it calc, uh, opening, closing, parenthesis, opening, closing, curly bracket, right? And so that's what we've been doing up till now. And so that's how you would declare a function often, um, most of the time. But you can also uh, create a function expression by creating the variable name um, and then saying equals. And then we'll have the word function here. And then we just go ahead and have opening, closing, parenthesis, opening, closing, curly bracket. So it behaves similar. Um, whenever you call that function name, uh, calc, and then it will behave uh, in the same fashion where it will execute that function. So here I can uh, go ahead and have the same type of thing that I had in a previous example where I have two variables that work within the scope of this function. And then I could do um, bar total again equals uh, number one plus number two. All right, um, and then we can do an alert on total. And again, you can do the console.log if you wanted. And then down below, I will um, just call the function. So I'll say calc, um, let's say five and one, we should get six. And that looks good offhand. Let's give it a test though, make sure it's working. So I will save it up and we will get the number six output. So it just works slightly different in that I don't give the function a name in the same fashion. I'm actually loading that function into a variable. And then when I call that variable and pass um, arguments to it, uh, then it will work in much the same fashion as the previous way that we declared functions.